Hello, hello! You're just in time for another Talus Principle 2 episode. Where we left off in the last one, a uh, little bit of a cliffhanger. We got a private message, so we're gonna start out by checking that out first. Um, but we have a public one first. Let's check the expedition mega thread. Please post your thoughts on the expedition in this thread and keep it civil. Never do. I think the powers that Athena has unlocked are world-changing, and it's our responsibility to use them to lessen suffering for all living things. We know, we heard your broadcast. I think we were being tested and Byron failed the test. What happened to Byron was an accident. Is there a difference, ultimately? Yes, there is. No one's actually seen Athena or Cornelius or Miranda at the megastructure. They could all still be, they could all still be aliens. You right. I like that his number is 420, uh, too. I feel like we need to at least think about the potential of all the new technologies. Maybe the founder is trying to teach us how to use them. Why is everything malf malfunctioning on the island now? Is it because of Byron? He was still logged into the system. His presence may be destabilizing it somehow. Or it's Pandora. He seems to want to stop the team. I think it was 1K who suggested the entities might be part of some kind of security system. Could it be that the system has gone rogue? I've read about virus detection software on ancient human computers behaving like that, misunderstanding what's a threat and what isn't. Sting. The choice of Pandora as a symbol cannot be accidental, and the message is obvious. The mech structure is Pandora's box, and we should not open it. Okay. Then, uh, we have Helga with the Somnodrome. 1k, let's have a quick chat. I was glad to hear that you're keeping an eye, op an open mind, on the Somnodrome thingy. I was like trying to remember where I knew Helga from. Was Helga the one that owned that shop in not last episode, but the one before that in New Jerusalem? I won't pretend to know what you should do if you find one that's working. I just don't know you. I just don't want you to decide in advance. It's far too much to keep everyone guessing. Okay, got a dash. Ideas are contagious, but they don't sell themselves. Send my love to the rest of the team. <laughs> I kind of like Helga. <laughs> All right, so um, I I do want to go back to, I think it was like number three at some point. I think that was the escape to see if we can get like a connector set up for the green power source we found. But since that's kind of in the opposite direction, um, perhaps we'll go to six first. Um, is actually this way. So what is this way then? What is what is over here? A couple question marks at least. Let's um, see what these are all about. We have something. Something. If something, something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that a triangle puzzle over there? Could be. Also like a pad um, heading up that way. Wow. I feel like there could be like so many like hidden things just like tucked away in this landscape. I love it. And I would definitely say my favorite so far. Santin Chalk Idikidenexi. Yes. City by the sea. When I realized it was over, it was all really over for good. I decided to take one last trip to my favorite places before the symptoms got too much. I could never forgive what they did to Chal Chalkadiki. Uh, this incredible, wild, rugged place between mountains and sea with pine trees all the way down to the water. The colors, the vistas, the sheer overwhelming beauty of it all. And they just built all over it. Hideous hotels sprawling like tumors, obscene beach bars blaring their awful music across the sea. Even in Cavora tripes. It was impossible not to hate humanity a little for it. 
the idea of it all returning to nature, of the hotels gradually sinking back into the reed fields, was moving and beautiful. But then I went back to Thessaloniki, and for all the ugliness inflicted upon the city, the idea that people would no longer meet up beneath the Camara or go for long, ambling walks on the promenade, or for the crepes on Plate, Plate Neverino, was unbearably sad. The idea of the rotunda just standing there, empty, after being a sacred place for so many centuries, it made me remember that it's not just beaches and forests that are beautiful. Cities can be more than just streets and noise. Cities can have histories and personalities, and that means something. What am I writing this for? Do I believe there will be survivors after all? Do I think that crazy robot project I heard about will actually uh, work out? Um, do I hope that aliens will come to our planet one day and wonder who we were? The truth is that I don't know, but there is something in the love we feel for the beautiful things that we built as much as our, revol our revulsion towards unnecessary destruction that matters. Yeah, I agree with a lot of that. Um, City by the Sea, the author was uh, Eleni, Eleni K. Hmm. Um, so the, the project that they were talking about, um, the robot project, I'm assuming that was the one created by Alexander Drennan wasn't it called like um, like the no Nomadics Project? So like kind of like the no Noema Project is kind of like a shortened version of it. Rana says, why didn't our ancestors understand that you can build in ways that make an area more beautiful instead of ruining it? Even if all they cared about was personal benefits, wouldn't that benefit them more? Now we can see like all three of their names now. Cornelius has kind of been here the entire time. He's really been keeping some secrets. Makes me want to go back to some of like the previous texts that we found where like it, you know, said like unknown user, but it's just like now, now we probably know. In the long run, yes, but people rarely think about the long-term consequences, especially if there is an incentive to act immediately. Yep. And yet most of them were unhappy with the results. Didn't they see that it was within their control to act differently? They preaching over here, they spit in truth. Problem solving. Solving the wrong problem by L.D. Armand. From L.D. Armand's, can you point me in the direction of a better timeline? Humans are problem solvers is a quote frequently associated with my friend Alexander Drennan. It's become a meme on the internet, used both ironically and not. Though Alexandra, of course, is entirely earnest in her uh, dedication to humanity. It's a great thought and vital under vital to understanding our species, but it's also not entirely as simple as that. Take, for example, the recent extinction of the orangutan and the ensuing conversation about the dangers of unknown pathogens released by human activity. Most of us agree that a problem exists, and significantly, most of us believe that something ought to be done about it. So we've identified the problem, and we have collectively decided to act. So why is nothing happening? That's a serious question. A great deal of effort is expended on raising awareness, but I would like to suggest that sometimes our problem-solving impulses can get stuck on the wrong goals. Awareness is not the issue. We've already convinced people that something needs to change, so if nothing changes, we have to wonder, why is the will of the people not being translated into action? Text missing from archive. Huh. Um, so it referenced uh, one earlier when it said that Alexandra is entirely earnest in her dedication to humanity. The, I guess the source for that is she's also capable of being devastatingly sarcastic. That's another story for another book. <laughs> Miranda says, maybe the problem was that they didn't have enough hope. They could see the problems, but they couldn't imagine that one day those problems could be solved. It's easy for people to get lost in the problems of the present that they think uh, nothing will ever change. They lost hope because the historical circumstances they found themselves in encouraged despair, but that in turn meant that the conditions could not change. How do you go against history itself? Uh, personally, like, if I understood the text correctly, like, what I feel like could be a big part of it too is like, yes, I think a lot of people are like aware that like 
certain things are not in a good state and that they need to change but people don't want to put in that effort when it like actually requires them going out of their comfort zone that's when they draw the line and they're like okay all right i'm not actually going to do this or i'll wait for someone else to do it for me type deal that's just my uh, humble take on that a little bit starting to blend my eyeballs hopefully that's not too dark okay uh founding seven hypatius journal seven uh from volume one the founding of new jerusalem day 372 Yamo died today. One moment he was there, welding a joint on the upper levels of the tower, and the next he was gone. One careless step, that's all it took. Athena brought him to the dam, but even Cornelius couldn't help. Yamo's gone. Now there's only twelve of us. Think about Yamo every day. So do I. You did nothing wrong. You weren't even there. I was. Uh, so like there, like Athena, she's like blaming herself for it, it kind of seems. Ooh, and we have a recharge v5 this is a design for an improved charging station fascinating mm -hmm. but not relevant oh okay well happy to help <laughs> anything for you melville Got a question mark over there. Got a question mark over here. Number six. Uh, let me skip out this question mark first if I can get to it without falling off the cliff. I think it's gotta be. Yeah, it's it's definitely that um, triangle down there. How could I get over there without dying? Hmm. 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 <laughs> uh, it looks like I might be able to get over there from, from over there. Uh... I don't think it would be the best idea to jump down here right now. Um, so yeah, let's let's um, head more towards six. Let's see about doing that. I did not go a good way. I probably did not, because yeah, this looks like a dead end here. Okay, um, let's go s somewhere. Um, how did I get up here? <laughs> Some way, somehow, I did it. Was it this way? This looks like it could be something. Okay, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So back here we are. Maybe I could reach um, that triangle from here then, since we're back down. Excuse me, dude, pardon me, coming through. Oh! oh. In the early days, Cornelius. humankind lived in a world of unexplained wonders and terrors. The powers of the elements were understood in terms of gods and spirits. After all, how else could one explain thunderstorms and earthquakes? But as the realm of scientific knowledge expanded, the realm of the mystical began to shrink. The sacred grove, as Hegel wrote, was reduced to mere timber. But as superstition retreated, Another thing was lost, meaning. In a purely mechanical universe, people yearned for the comfort provided by gods and spirits. But there was no way back. But what about the beauty of the universe? The perfection of everything around us, couldn't they see that? Not sure I can see that, Miranda. But I do think there was another way, a way forward instead of back. Faith, not in an invisible world, but in ourselves, in each other, in the inherent value of consciousness and civilization. They never really found it. But I think that in those last months when their whole species was dying, they caught a glimpse of it. And that's how your mother was born. Hmm, I found a dude. We begin with the self because that is what determines our existence as individuals. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. The citizen lives within the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. So now we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world and ask, if man is like a machine, could it be that the universe is similar in nature? And if so, what follows from that fact? Hmm. 
I'm gonna go back to um that triangle. I just wanted to see if there was like anything more that I should see over here. Because it looks like I should be able to get up on that ledge, but um don't really know how. Uh so is there a place that I could like climb up like over here? Yeah, not really. Alright, let's uh let's focus on this triangle. It is called minimalism. I I do appreciate minimalism. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh well. It doesn't look very minimalistic though. It looks very complicated. <laughs> very scary. Um, there's like already like a blue power source going all the way over. I'm I just I'm very concerned about this. Okay, uh well, we'll jam you. And here is a fan that we can detach. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It sends us up really high here. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Um. Oh. This is like a two level puzzle. This is trippy, man. Okay. Um. That was not what I was expecting. Um, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, all right, um, cool, cool story, bro. So, 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 um, if I like bring like a, like a jammer up here, then can you teleport from the bottom? Is that like a possibility? There's also a red power source there. Also, how do I get down? Um, I, <laughs> all right, it kind of worked. Wait a minute, hang on, hold up. Oh, I was like, why is that not still open? <laughs> Maybe because my body was uh, the one that was keeping the gate open? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's probably it. Um, all right. Well, uh, I feel like I probably need a new, a new plan. Um, how, how now, brown cow? Because if I have this here, I'm not gonna be able to see it. This, this is definitely a triangle. <laughs> I don't even know, my dude. Like I can, I can bring the teleporter down there and teleport down there. But I feel like that would not help me anyway. Would it? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to get teleporter beyond the purple. Gosh, who made this? I am absolutely disgusted. The only thing that I can come up with is is to in fact bring the the teleporter down there. It's like I just can't come up with anything to like do with it up top right now. I can't really come up with anything to <laughs> do with it down here either. So I'm a little, I'm in a little bit of a predicament.
maybe if I... Okay. I'm gonna try something new. Um... We can, we can see the teleporter here. So maybe what I do is I go back down very carefully. Um, and I take the fan, then I teleport there. So at least I have the fan up here with me now. I can put the fan there. Um, now we can put the teleporter there. I can fall back down very carefully. <laughs> and we can now take our jammer, teleport up here with jammer, and jam this. Okay, all right. So first step down. Of how many steps? Uh, next, next question? Next question? Um, this will open up this? Yes. Okay. Um, here is a, uh, oh, it's, um, my favorite tool. The, the, um, I'm blanking on the name of it, though. Where it sucks up the power. Um, I don't even know, my dudes. <laughs> Okay, uh, all right, so we need to get you, get the red power from here, and then take it back over here to power it on. Gosh, it seems like there's, this is, this is a long one, which I'm not surprised by, just based on the sheer size. Um, okay. So, there's my potential predicament. Um, I, I need to get down there to get the accumulator. I think that's what it was called. Um, but I, I think I also need... Um, this to kind of be like in a space that I can see. Maybe I can like jump down there before it fully closes. Would that be a possibility? So if I like let you chill. I wonder if you can time that. There's like no fan down there to get me back up. Like, I think I have to use the teleporter. I don't want it to fall. I feel like I was close. <sighs> it must be like just big enough that like if you step off like you can't get through okay uh well i'll i'll do then um if i had the good old jammer over here i mean that could act as a as another thing I leave that right there. I'm not going to be able to teleport back up here. Um, I don't think so. I don't think you. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that from the ground floor. I 
don't think there's any way for me to get this over there. full and and see what's going on down here all right so that power source is going around there wing wait a minute did I did I way over complicate this no I didn't it can't reach that red there but I think there was like a gate I think that was the deal. Or, or, or? Oh. So maybe the, it's only supplying power when that pedestal is stepped on? That. So then could I do this? No. Um There was a there was a moment where it was connected. Why? Like, you can see the red beam coming off of it there. I get it to like perfectly go through the bars. I feel like that should theoretically work. I just get power from you. That'd be that'd be wonderful. All, that's all I need. But yeah, at this point, I think I have to reset because I don't think there's anything that I can do down here since the since the um, teleporter is not where. <gasps> Wait a minute! I can actually. <gasps> I can reach the teleporter from here, <gasps> even though I couldn't see it. I guess I could see the blue beam from down there. Okay, this changes everything. <laughs> Okay, all right, so, or does it change everything? Okay, um, I'll let you just chill there. And then I'm going to fall back down here. I will step on this. That has power now, cool. So then we teleport back up here. I go over here and get this. Then we fall back down here again. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And I could have solved that so much faster. Like, but I just assumed the uh, teleporter being on that platform, I wouldn't be able to see it and teleport to it. And it was just one of those things where like, it was very like scary and daunting to me to like, be like, oh, like, well, you know, I would like to fall down and test that theory, but you know, that feeling, you know, like, oh, if I fall down, I'm not, I might not be able to get back out. Um, which I, I could have just reset the level at that point, but I just was trying to avoid doing that. <laughs> All right. So that that's good information for future purposes, I guess, is that like, you don't necessarily have to see like the base of the teleporter as long as you see like the blue that's coming up from it okay. all right cool cool um where am i <laughs> we are this is four over here so if this is four wasn't like um three up this way gotta be and i think three was the escape right i just wanted to see if there was a connector in uh, the escape that can be used for that green um that green connector that we know it was two two was the escape wanted to see if it could connect to Ugh. um 
because I want to say it's like near the head of this statue. The green thing. I don't really know unless I've got a connector or unless I like go back over there and check. Um, this is actually seeming farther away than I thought it was. Or was it near his butt? Dude, this will be a nice place for a connector right here, possibly. Unless it's on the other side of that statue, then not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the, the line of it going, like, right here. So I don't think that, um... There's, there's no way a, a connector... Oh. I was gonna say a connector could could reach all the way over here. But the big thing is that like I I do kind of need a connector over here. So that um oh did this puzzle reset itself too? Oh gosh, we might have to do it again. Um or maybe not. No, it did reset itself. Um in which case I need to yeah, I need to place that again. Alright, that's sucky. Let me try to remember what I did. Okay, thankfully I actually didn't need to do a whole lot. Um, it it might have left some doors open since we've already solved this puzzle. I just had to go through the purple wall and go to the teleporter. Thankfully the teleporter was open too. Okay, so um, I am going to drill like there. And then I'm going to get the connector that we have here. Maybe I'll put the. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I'll put the uh, teleporter here too, in case I need to get like get back up here uh, soon, soon TM at some points. All right. So yeah, sadly it doesn't look like I can. It doesn't look like I can connect um, this to the statue because I can't even like see it really from here. But at least this gives us like a, a point there that we could maybe possibly connect to a little bit easier. But that would mean I would need a second, at least a second connector. And I just don't know where we're gonna get that from. Um. Wondering if it needed to be on that side. Um, yeah, maybe I'll like put it on that side so it can reach a little bit better. but I'm gonna have to re- Ooh, yeah, no, I don't think this will work. Um, because I, unless I had kept the connection, which I did not. Um, if I redo that, I, I might be able to do that. Okay, so let's drill here again. And then I'm going to connect you then we will keep connections uh but i need to i need to drill um keep connections teleport all right so now it should have like a little bit more like visibility oh especially if oh especially if i go over here we actually connect after all Oh, I know it's somewhere over there. I can't I can't see it. I can't see it. Um I'm I 
I'm going to put it right there. And then we will climb back over. Um, you know what? Actually, 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 um, before we climb back over, I'm going to move the teleporter a little bit again, just in case I need to like come back up here. I'm going to, I'm going to put it there. I think that should be okay. And then we take driller and let's try to get an angle where that'll line up without dropping my driller in. That work? Yep, that works. Okay, so um, now let's go out of here and we'll just keep our eyes peeled for uh, a place where I can connect, where I can connect that. Maybe what I'll do first is go over to like where we originally like saw that connector and like just kind of see if, um, just see, just see. There is no connectors in here, right? Yeah, I don't think there were any connectors in this one. Doesn't look like it. Okay. This water is kind of deep. That looks really deep there. I should not go that way. Maybe I can go around this way. I think I kind of need to be on that other side to see it. Okay. All right. I do see an illusion over here this way too. Let's uh, check and see what this is. Not going to eight yet since we haven't done uh, six and seven, but good to know that you are there. Well enough. The Noema algorithm. Oh, it's working twice as fast now, and He's I think a smart I can grill. increase matter output by 25% if I tweak the modulator a little. I'm so excited. Nice to meet you. So excited. I'm Cornelius. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> He's this such a science. dad. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for the right moment. I think that's the first time that uh, I've heard her call Cornelius dad too. An old arcade machine. It's pretty cool. Let's uh, see what it says. An electronic game, arcade machine. Devices such as this one were commonly used to play games in public fora. This particular unit allows users to play Serious Sam, a well-regarded but less uh, less known follow-up to Crotium's hugely popular Football Glory series. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard of Football Glory. Definitely. Definitely know about Sirius Sam, though. There's plenty of, uh, um, Easter eggs about Sirius Sam throughout these games. Still got a golden gate here. I really wonder what those are going to be all about. It, I'm assuming we'll have to solve all of the puzzles to, like, eventually unlock that. So like a potential for like multiple endings in this game, kind of like first game. I like that, too. We have been... Have we been here? Maybe we haven't been here. Okay, all right. Uh, Chernichevsky 9 on nature by Arkady Chernyshevsky. We may have seen some stuff by them before. Um, in our likeness, essays on humankind reaching adulthood. The question of our relationship with nature has be bedeviled us since the earliest days of our species. Since before the first city was built, we felt that there is something different about us. Animals, we in, uh, intu intuit? We're part of nature, we were not. But of course, humans clearly are the products of nature. Our history intertwined with that of every other species. In fact, the very notion of the unnatural is a contradiction in terms. Everything that exists must, by definition, be natural. So this view, no matter how common, is deeply paradoxical. 
Paradox has produced a great deal of confusion. Some proclaim us chosen by a divine power set above all the other creatures and are justly accused of arrogance. Others proclaim us sinners worse than other creatures and are rightly accused of misanthropy. Others yet try to oppose this binary by saying that we are merely animals after all, but that too is manifestly wrong and that no other animal is capable of having this conversation. It is in the uh, contentious issue of our impact of the ecosphere that an answer may be found. Other animals have accidentally terraformed the planet before, driving other species to extinction. This is not unnatural. If we continued our current path, even to the point of changing the climate enough to cause uh, the collapse of civilization, that would be entirely in keeping with how animals behave. But there is one profound way in which we are not like animals. We can learn to understand ourselves and the world. It is this knowledge that makes us fundamentally different. We have choices, we have control. There are many today who are afraid of the consequences of control and would prefer a return to a state of animal ignorance, whether by uh, blinding ourselves to the impact of our actions or demanding we humble ourselves before nature. This is the response of an adult in crisis who wishes for a return to childhood, but this can only ever be regressive in every sense of the word. To resolve the paradox of nature, we must act as adults, accept our power, and act uh, consciously and deliberately in shaping the world. We must become nature, and nature must become human. So, like, a lot of this is like, you know, are we animals? Are we not? And I just, I feel like that is just very dependent on what like you deem like makes an animal versus like what doesn't um so like obviously like this guy's take is that like the fact that like um we can like hold conversations and stuff like that is what sets us apart from animals but like someone else's perception of like what makes an animal might be might be different like you know you think about it like for instance some animals can fly and some animals cannot the ones that that can does that make them any less like an animal like no not necessarily um it's just depends really on like your definition i suppose uh, athena says this is the heart of the matter lifting up the world rather than lowering ourselves but why do so many people so badly want to lower themselves do they want to or is it simply a convenient pose to strike Hmm. Upgrade. From Miranda to Athena. A lot of hidden information here. We upgraded the lab with my new designs. Synthesizing some of the pieces took longer than expected. We'll still have some bugs to iron out when it comes to complex structures, but it worked. Now the labs are safer and prettier. That's important. Although Father says they look too much like spaceships. I don't see it, do you? A lot of, uh jumbled info there from Miranda. Hmm. And then good old Trevor. Trevor 7. Today, we were delighted to be visited by a bunch of protesters. These voluntary extinction weirdos who think we're creating soulless monstrosities that will destroy the planet. <sighs> they broke into the facility and started yelling at everyone. Fun, 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 right? Then, oh, then one of them lunged at Alex. Big mistake. Chernyshevsky grabbed the guy and literally threw him across the room. I mean, almost threw him all the way off the dam. After wow. that, eh, the rest of them had a change of heart. Now, I'm telling you this because mostly it is not like that. But you know, these people do exist. And somewhere in their shriveled little souls, they think that they're doing the right thing. They think they're being righteous. Now, to me, what Alex is trying to do is an obvious good. But... That's not the same for everyone. Hmm. Trevor, he makes some good points. Um, okay, so I guess, ooh, number six is in this like cool like cave. Oh wait, no, this isn't six. This is a this is a triangle. So where is six? Is six oh, is six in a dome? Alright, well it looks like since we'll have to come back this way anyway. Let's go here first, and then we'll do the triangle. <laughs> His, uh, history tends to show that sometimes those can be a little bit more tricky. OK, 
Okay, all right, yep, this is, this is number six here. Glance around, wow, that just like, never fails to be incredible. All right, just wanted to make sure we weren't missing anything. I'm still quite confused about, um, this. So far, I don't think I'm having any ideas regarding what this could be. I'm just trying to keep it in the back of my noggin. Translocator. All right, so we're starting with our good old friend, the Q. Hi, Q. And we're gonna just, are, are, we, are we going to pop cube there? Uh, I suppose we are, okay. Um. Okay. And 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 uh and <laughs> um oh they like reverse keep each other open. Got it. Okay, so now we teleport here. Let's take you, put Cube on there. I think we are gonna... Oh, I was about to say we need to leave Cube behind. Maybe we don't need to leave Cube behind. Um, I think we can't leave Cube behind. So I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you, Cube. No need to leave you behind. I'm so sorry I even suggested such a silly thing. Goodness gracious. Uh, all right, so now we're here. Let's get good old cube. And not do that. <laughs> um, let's get teleporter and we'll um, put you on there. Hey cube. Put cube right there. Jump, jump. And... Oh, but I need, I was about to say I need cube to get over there, unless I put like the teleporter up there. This isn't also keeping this open, right? It is, it is keeping this open. Okay, cool. So now, uh, uh, let me take cube again, put you there, take this, jump, um, just place that there, take cube again, put you there, jump, uh, get cube, place, teleport, all right. I, I kind of feel like this was one of the most straightforward puzzles here, uh, for me at least. I feel like I've really, really struggled with a lot of the other puzzles um, here. And I don't know if it's the, the fact that I haven't played in a couple weeks, or if the puzzles are getting stronger, or maybe just a combination of both. <laughs> Alright, well it feels good to not have spent too much time on number six there, thank goodness. We're going to head in this direction back toward that very interesting looking triangle. Yes. Ooh, ooh. I'm so intrigued. Gosh, look at the lead up to this too. It's amazing. Aerial warp. Gosh, it even sounds complicated. Okay, so we have two places where fans can go, but no fans. No fans. Um, there is a fan on there. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> um, this would like turn on that fan. This would turn on that fan. Oh, I do have a teleporty up here. All right. It's, oh, it's right here. Oh, the pain. <laughs> if only I could just like climb on this, this little wall up here, that would be perfect. I can't like put, just, just, like, just do, like, just drop it up here, right? Just do, like, a little jump and drop? No? 
Okay, all right. Well, um, then, then we will take this with us and I'm going to take you off of there. Is there anything up here for me right now? Um, oh wait, I need, I need something on here, don't I? Um, well, I would, I would like to have that cube. That is a very pretty cube. Uh, um, hmm. I don't think there's any way for me to, I think I need like a third thing if I wanted to do that. Okay, well, I'll just take this for now and we'll put that there. And... That's not what I was expecting, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I was expecting to go like a little, like just like, like a little bit higher. I like how it's like jump here. <laughs> jump, jump where? I, I want to go, I want to go there. I want to, I want to get the cube. Um, like if, um, let me turn that off for a moment. Like if I put that on there, would it just blow it off? Yeah. Okay. Um. And just to test, this one would, yeah, send us to this height too. What is the purpose of you? <laughs> okay, uh. I want, I want that cube, or that cube. I just want one. I just want one. Is that too much to ask? Maybe, um... Um, I was thinking maybe I could like put the, the this there. If I want to actually like blow it, I need. Goodness, this is this is a triangle. This, this is a triangle. I'm gonna put the fan here. I'm gonna put the teleporter. here. Um, I'm gonna pick up the fan, stand on it, teleport. Okay. All right. Um, then we'll keep that on there. We will go up here. Okay. All right. I was struggling to figure out how to get both of them over there. Jeez. So we finally have a cube. That's, that's good. Um, so that, that would like push out the cube to that side, I guess. Um, but in order to do that, I like, I need, I need like a, I need the fan. All right, maybe let's, let's, um, Switch that for a moment, and then I'm gonna go up here. Work. Um. I think we should be able to get both, both there now. All right, so we'll put that there. We'll take this cube. I'll teleport up here too. And then... Okay, all right, we have another cube now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Can I get my teleporter out there the same way? We can get teleporter out there the same way. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, what about fan though? I, 
That, that I don't, I'm not going to be able to blow that out. Oh, and the problem is I need the, um, okay. If I drop the fan back down here, we might be able to do things. Um, yes. Yeah. So let me just drop you, take this. Now I think we're good on that side. We don't need any of that stuff anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't think. Um, so let's turn that off for a second. I am going to put that there. Um, can we put the teleporter on top of it? On top of the cube? We can. Okay. So turn that on. Teleport. Now we're talking. Okay. So, um, now let's take fan. Fan can go there. Put that on there. Teleport on here. Um, switch that on. Go here. Oh, I, do I actually need it a little bit higher? I might need to bo do both cubes. Um, I do. Okay. Well, um, here's the predicament. I am, I'm <laughs> back to where I started. Ta-da! Um... I have everything that I think I can have on this level. So it's like I need like a cube here to jump up there, but I also need both cubes to be up here. Unless I don't. But I, I feel like I do. What if we take the teleporter? Ooh, 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 ooh. And then. And then we uh, turn this off. Thank you. Teleport. And I'm probably gonna need both. Do I need both cubes? I don't need both cubes. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was a tricky booger. Um, I was honestly worried for a moment that I was gonna have to step away from this one. Um, I was just really stuck with that initial part of of trying to get both things on the other side. The the teleporter, it's like a, a I, I feel like a really overpowered thing, but just like trying to figure out in your mind, like how can I get this to, to work that will benefit me the best way possible, that, that itself can be quite Quite tricky, quite tricky. Okay, all right, we did it. Feels good, man. So, um, that was, that was triangle. We have seven and eight over here. Seven looks really cool with this staircase. I've still been keeping in the back of my mind, um, what I can do to connect the gosh darn power from, um, from two. Even though I feel like I put two in a pretty, uh, prime location. I don't think I can see it from here. Where, where is this hanging down? I'm struggling to see that, like, white line that shows where this star one is connected to. Okay, I think I see it. I think it's, like, right there. So, if I move too far over this way, the head blocks it. Man, oh man. I don't know where the, um, the connector for that one, like, to get there could be. Gosh, that's tricky. I think I do kind of see two over there after all. So, do, do we think that it could connect? No, you know what? I think the hand on this side is blocking it so you can't see it. Gosh, they put that thing in a very, um, 
precise location. Right, I feel like you can only kind of see it from like here. I feel like maybe on this other side of that river. Um. In which case, maybe there is a uh, a connector here on seven. It's got a good vantage point. It might be able to see two. Say that, and yet it looks like there's a lot of bars around it. Ah, <sighs> um, it was over there. Man, oh man. I don't even know. But I want to know. I do. I just don't know where I could connect it to. Um, like, you know, potentially there could be another connector over here at number six. But, you know, even if there is, like, I'd still have to have another connector to get to the the green there. So I, I, yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, we will look more into it next time. Um, and we'll do, we'll do puzzle seven, puzzle eight. We still need to do the lab here as well. So we've got a little bit more here to do, but I do believe in the next episode, we'll probably be able to move on to the next, um, the next island, the next uh, area as well. Once again, thanks so much for watching this episode. And as a reminder, uh, our tier two members on the channel get to watch uh, these videos a day early. Thank you so much to everybody uh, who supports the channel in that way. Really, really appreciate you. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this episode. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.